Without a doubt, digitisation is having an enormous impact on the way that people work. And it's interesting to look at times in the past when similar sorts of changes have happened. Um, I don't know if anyone's been to the Railway Museum uh, that's at Redfern. It's one of the few surviving places uh, that that sort of locomotive work has been done in for more than a century. So when it was set up, it was set up for a steam-driven plant. Um, and one of the things about a steam-driven plant is you have a big boiler, usually at one end of the facility, and then out of that boiler you have um, shafts that run around the edge of the building, and off, the, off those shafts you run belts, and those belts drive things like saws and drills and that sort of thing. Um, and so the way those workplaces were designed was to have stations set out along the walls of the factory so they could use the power coming from those steam driven shafts. When the um, impact of electricity was felt in factories, so there were electric motors rather than steam driven motors, what did people do? Well, they just kept the same way of working and put an electric motor where the belt drive off the shaft used to be. Now, that was fine, but it was far from optimal. But it took over a generation for people to come to understand that actually, now with electric motors, you could set out your factory in all sorts of different ways and you didn't have to rely on being tied to where the shafts were. I think we're seeing a similar sort of thing with the impact of digitisation in the workplace. So we're coming out of a model where people needed to be uh, physically close to each other in order for the team to do their work. And we're moving to a model where digital communication means that people can work effectively from almost anywhere. Organisations are only very slowly catching up with that sort of thinking. And I think we'll see significant change over the next 10 years in the way that that works. Um, and it will really change the way that workplaces need to look. But more importantly, it will really change the way that HR professionals need to engage with their workforce. Because our model there is, well, the people are here in the factory, in the office, wherever it might be. And for many things, particularly for knowledge workers, that's not where they'll be. The other aspect of this is that because people will enjoy that freedom of being able to work in other places, um, I think we'll find that people will have multiple jobs going at once and therefore the need to engage with employees um, really effectively in both cost of uh, resource but cost of time will be really, really important. Um, and we're making good steps in that but we're not quite there yet. Another impact of digitisation is that I think we'll see a change in the dynamic of the way we think of the employee workplace arrangement. And at the moment, HR professionals are very much organised around the workplace. And I think we're seeing through things like LinkedIn, for example, a move to the digital empowerment of the employee. And therefore, there's a an option in the future for HR professionals to engage with employees as the focus, not with the workplace as a focus. Now, how that will play out is far from certain. Um, it'll be a really interesting time, but it's one of those places where it will be really important for people to be running experiments on the edge of what they do in order to be learning about the impact of those changes.